Okay, so I get a lot of questions about how to check the valve lash in um, Lycoming, Superior, Titan engines. Uh, they're all the same. Uh, so I'm just going to run, run through a few things here. Um, so firstly, when you're checking uh, the cylinder, you want to make sure that it's at top dead center compression so that there's no pressure whatsoever on the valves. Um, so when you're turning the engine, obviously the actual cam lobe, when it's at top dead center compression, it's going to be facing down, so you're not going to have any pressure whatsoever. Um, this is a roller setup, but it doesn't matter if it's roller or flat tap it, um, it's the exact same fundamentals there. So uh, we have your uh, roller lifter there, you have your hydraulic plunger. Uh, on top of that you're going to have a little socket, it's flat on one side, rounded on the other, and that will basically fit in like that. You're going to have your push rod in, in, into the socket and that will essentially go up into your rocker and that depresses on the valve. So the spec that we're actually adjusting or that you want to get is uh, 28 thou minimum and 80 thou maximum. So you want the 28 to actually go in there but you don't want the 80 thou to be able to go in there. So to check this um, it's called a dry clearance which means this hydraulic plunger cannot be full <clears throat> of oil. So if the engine has been run, this will be full of oil. So you will have to drain this before you check the clearances. Um, these, once you get them out, you don't want to use a uh, magnet because you can magnetize them. Um, so use a little bit of lock wire. But what you're going to do is you're going to twist it and just pull and the, the oil will be inside there. So once you get that cleaned out, you can actually see it dripping out. I'll actually take some compressed air, I'll make sure it's nice and dry. Once I assemble it back together, it won't want to go down, so you actually have to... There's a little check valve in there that you push in, and then you'll be able to push it back together. So, you can actually physically push it down. If there's oil in there, you won't be able to do that. So that's the most important part of checking the valve crash, is making sure that that is no oil inside there. Um, yeah, and you get your 28 to 80. If after you do your dry uh, tappet clearance that it's not 28 to 80 thou, you're going to need to change your push rod length. So on the numbers, not sure if you can see that, there's a 31 at the end there. So you can actually change that to either a 30 to go like uh, shorter or a 32 to go longer. So you can play around with your lengths and get the right tappet clearance. And that's it.